Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and finally Apple has decided to release iOS 16.3.1 to the public. We've gone now like 20 days without any iOS updates. So it's pretty exciting to see finally Apple releasing a new update, even though we expected it last week where Apple released TV OS 16.3.1 but it didn't happen, but it's finally here this week and hopefully we will get more updates in the next upcoming days, which will also be very, very exciting and probably way bigger than this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 16.3.1 and see what this update is all about. Now, of course, this will be a smaller update and it will come to your device at around 300 megabytes. That is always different based on which device you have. And of course, based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. But again, expect the devices update to be at around 300 megabytes. Now, this update can be installed on your device, of course, pretty easily simply by going to your settings, general software update, and you can have the update installed from there. Or what you can do is go ahead and set it up to be installed automatically, which I suggest you do so you don't have to bother about installing it. You just enable all these buttons and you have the update installed automatically on your device. Or what you can do is also install it if you're using the beta versions of iOS 16.3. So if you had the beta versions of iOS 16.3 and you wanna move on to this update, I suggest you should. Make sure you go ahead and first go to VPN and device management and remove the beta profile from here. And then you can go ahead and update your device. Otherwise, you won't get an update for your iPhone. And now let's talk about the new changes and fixes that this update will bring to your device. Now, first of all, it will fix a problem with the iCloud settings. So basically the iCloud settings might be unresponsive or show incorrectly on apps using iCloud. That has been fixed with, uh, with this update. Also, another fix is for Siri. So Siri requests for Find My have been fixed. Siri requests for Find My that might not be working with iOS 16.3. If you had that problem, then that is fixed with this update. Another thing that this will add basically to their device are optimization for crash detection. Now, with every update, Apple is doing this, optimizing crash detection, of course, so it doesn't give any false signals. You know probably that this is an, basically a feature that is exclusive to the iPhone 14 and the 14 Pro model. So if you have one of those devices, you just know that this update will make that feature that much better and hopefully way more accurate. So these are the changes and the fixes included on this update based on the release notes by Apple. Hopefully this update will do much more. And one of them is hopefully a fix for the storage bug. Now I didn't have this bug myself, but I've seen it reported by a ton of users where iOS will just basically show here the storage full, even though they had plenty of free storage on their devices. Also one that has to actually be tested. I have to use my device for a few days now on iOS 16.3.1 is the Wi-Fi bug, which I have actually been experiencing on my device as well. Well, the Wi-Fi is just not that stable and it will all the time disconnect. That's very, very bad actually, and hopefully that will be fixed. Another one that again, I will have maybe to do an update video on iOS 16.3.1 and talk about these problems, whether they have been fixed or not, is a bug that has been causing me a lot of problems with the always on display mode. So let me just lock the device. So basically when I go to the always on screen here, a lot of times it will just turn dark. No matter in which environment you are, whether that's really dark or not, it will just turn off the screen completely, even though I have always on display enabled. So we will have to actually wait for a couple of days and use the device on this new software to actually see if these problems have been fixed or not. And now let's go ahead and talk about what's next on iOS and what releases can we expect? Well, with the release of iOS 16.3.1, I really believe that Apple is done with these smaller updates to iOS 16.3 and now we should move to iOS 16.4 beta one. We didn't have a beta for a long time now and I think we will have it this week. I would actually expect Apple to release iOS 16.4 beta one as soon as this week. So maybe tomorrow, maybe on Wednesday or even Tuesday, Thursday actually, we can expect iOS 16.4 beta one to be released to the devs. And then of course later this 
this year probably like five or six weeks after this it would be released to the public and hopefully it will bring a lot of new features and changes to ios users so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one